My name's Elohim, I'm a bartender, and I love to imbibe. This is the channel where I make one-of-a-kind cocktails you haven't had before, and I take simple classics and insert my own special twist for those of you who don't have a full bar at home, because unlike me, you're a well-adjusted human being. That's enough talking. Let's get into it. What's up, everybody? This week, we are doing the prophecy in week two of our rum series. I am using a rum agricole, specifically a Martinique uh, rum with an AOC designation, and that stands for Appellation d'Origine Controle, which, excuse my French, basically means, much like wine, the sugarcane is taken from a specific region. It is actually the fresh pressed sugarcane from that region that is used to make this rum. It's not with molasses or sugarcane byproducts or sugar byproducts. This allows you, again, much like wine, to taste the terroir, again, excuse my French, or the uh, the earth that that sugarcane came from, or in the case of wine, that the grape came from. So you can taste what that climate is like. In, in This is a totally a sipping rum that also makes for great cocktails. Within this rum series, if you only want to do the Smith & Cross, get the Smith & Cross. All my recipes in the series work with Smith & Cross, but this is the peak recipe, if you will. But yeah, without further ado, let's, um, let's get started. Uh, all right, so for this one, we are gonna, I'm again, I'm gonna try and build everything going forward like you would at a bar. So fruits, vegetables, herbs, sugars first, booze last to, in case you mess up, save the booze. So we are gonna do half an ounce of lime. Then we're gonna do half an ounce of Demerara sugar. This is a two to one, like I said earlier, or last week I should say, all my syrups are two to one because I'm not a full bar and I don't use enough syrup to uh, have to be making it all the time. I prefer my syrup to last. All right, uh, we're gonna do one dash of Fee Brothers Whiskey Barrel Aged Bitters. Now this bottle's pretty full, so I'm gonna do one more so I can get a nice size dash. And then we're gonna grab about, I don't know, what is this? 15 sage leaves. And we are going to model. Again, much like the mint last week, you want to press, never twist. And once that smell of the uh, leaf comes up to your nose from your muddling position, you know you've muddled enough. Awesome. All right, now, Two ounces of our rum. Now this is only $40. To get an equivalent whiskey, you're gonna easily be spending 50, 60. Again, rum is a super cheap spirit to get into because the masses haven't taken, it hasn't taken on the way whiskey has or tequila has in the US yet. Next, we are going to run, we're gonna grab our ice. Smells amazing. We're gonna strain. 
But first, we're gonna grab our cube dice. Take this. This is uh, just seltzer or club. We're gonna do one ounce of club soda. Beautiful. Now, to finish this off, you're going to grab a lime. You're gonna take a disc without cutting yourself like I so frequently do. That's really shitty. Do I not have any more of a... Here we go. I could have sworn I had a peeler. I don't know why it's back there, but it's back there. Um, Much easier. Okay, and you are gonna express right over this. Just like that. Take our straw. Let's taste some more, actually. Oh, it's really, interesting drink. Um, it has a definite medicinal quality that's coming from the muddled sage and then those whiskey barrel aged bitters. Uh, the club soda lifts the lime express to your nose. Um, and then the grass and vegetal notes from this particular rum really help bring it everything together. This really tastes like something a shaman would make you to heal you or to take you to another dimension. Delicious. I guess this is the point where I say, uh, please hit that like button, please subscribe. I'm also on um, IGTV on Instagram at uh, the bartender inbox. I will see you all next week.